Thank you very much, George. Um, I'm really glad to see that finally someone comes to my lecture. Are you listening? Damn. It's, it's uh, lovely to stand here. At the same time, I, I have to admit that it, it does feel a, a little bit uh, surreal, and not only because Marco Incerti is in jail. Uh, <laughs> yes. You know, these things happen at the STG. Um, it's, um, in order to express myself today, I would like to give you an introduction, three points and a conclusion. Um, and by way of introduction, I, I just want to say it straight off the bat. Um, I say it with hand on heart. These have been the best four years of my life. And there are many reasons for that. One is that, uh, I made a lot of new friends. Um, George and I had had both quite a rough ride in, in, in politics, and uh, I felt right from the beginning that we bonded in a way in which two human beings who have had a similar experience have, have, have bonded. Um, but mainly because I felt that was part of something new, a startup. Um, I had absolutely no clue what I was getting into when we started. I actually think uh, that the selection committee took a big risk. <laughs> In, in hiring me. Um, but there's one person without whom I, I would not have managed throughout this, and that's Fabrizio, because I think still he's the heart and soul of the STG. And um, bonded with Fabrizio as a friend as well. And as you said, in the room over there, it was kind of strange because our families were living elsewhere. So it's like these two bachelors roaming around in, in, in Florence. And, and when I had COVID, he brought me food to the door and, 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 and the rest of it. Um, but there are also two people and I, I can't mention anyone, but two people who, who took care of me throughout these uh, four years and Susanna and Johanna, who basically gave everything they, they had and, and my appreciation uh, for the work that, that they did is, is goes, goes beyond. Uh, I have a tendency to you know, become close to the people I work with and, and certainly with Johanna Susanna, uh, then also Fabrizio, George and, and our whole faculty and staff. It's, it's been a fantastic ride. Now, uh, I think all of you in this room should be super proud of, of what we have achieved. You know, figures speak for themselves. You know, we can talk about us being about 30 in the SDG family three, four years ago. And now we're up somewhere between 264 and 300. Um, we had no students, we had a handful of fellows, we had no permanent professors, we had a dozen plus, uh, faculty and we had a little bit of money. We had a name, we had a vision, um, uh, and then we did it. But I always felt right from the beginning that we did it not because of the director, not because of a hierarchy that we had, but because we gave everyone responsibility and, you know, the end result is here. So in many ways, I kind of feel sad that I'm leaving, but at the same time, I personally feel very much that, you know, it's sort of mission accomplished. And now you're going to take the STG uh, to the next level. Now, and finally, the students and fellows. Without you, we wouldn't be here, or I don't think we would have a purpose or a sense. You can't have a school where you don't teach and engage with someone. Fellows have somewhere between five to 10 months. Students, two really tough years. Uh, we've seen two cohorts graduate, a third one in the making and a fourth one as well. And as I said, it gives us uh, a lot of pride. I want you to come out of here with tools that help you to cope through life. And I don't know where I got this from, but probably somewhere. I want all of you to feel physically safe, but mentally challenged every and each day. You need to feel uncomfortable in your own thinking. That is the best way that you can learn when you're testing to the limits. And I'll finish with a final thought. And that comes from my thinking with 
chat GPT and artificial intelligence and robotization and the fact that a lot of the tasks that we as human beings have been used to doing throughout life, they're now changing. A lot of the things with our intellectual and mental capacity can be done with the help of uh, artificial intelligence. A lot of the physical work that we used to doing can be done with the help of robots and other tools. But if there's one thing I want all of you, whether staff, faculty or students or fellows to come out of these two years, remember that there's one thing that machines can't do yet, and that's empathy. And empathy is based on caring for other human beings and getting meaning into your life by giving to someone else. With these words, I would like to thank all of you for a fantastic four years. Thank you.